extensive program of research and development in the field of disk flight, which was started in 1952, is being conducted by Avro Aircraft Limited at Malton, Ontario. Early studies on behalf of the United States Air Force proved the feasibility of a circular planform vertical takeoff aircraft utilizing a system of peripheral jets for propulsion, stabilization, and control. The current phase of the program entails the design and construction of the Avro car, an 18-foot diameter test vehicle for the United States Army. The Avro car will take off vertically and carry a useful load of over one ton for 125 miles. It is intended primarily for operation within 400 feet of the ground over terrain of not more than 10,000 feet altitude at level flight speeds up to 225 knots. When the basic design criteria for the vehicle were established, construction of a full-scale wooden mock-up was started. Radially disposed ribs with covering skin form the primary structure. Unlike the actual vehicle, which is manufactured in three segments, the mock-up was built in two halves. A covered superstructure of beams and partitions form compartments for the crew, power plant, equipment and cargo. The vehicle is powered by three Continental J69 engines driving a turborotor located in a central air inlet. The turborotor expels air through ducts formed by the ribs and skins to a nozzle at the wing periphery for propulsion and control. A separate fuel tank is installed for each engine. Exhaust gases from the engines, which act as gas generators, are directed through tusk-shaped ducts onto the turbine section in the turborotor. As detailed design information became available, the installation of systems and equipment progressed. The completed mock-up provided a dimensionally accurate and fully representative model for evaluation prior to construction of the first Avro car. During manufacture of the first vehicle, the mock-up continued to provide an invaluable check on the arrangement, location, and clearances for various installations. A 1 20th scale model designed and manufactured for use in the Avro ejector wind tunnel provided preliminary data on the aerodynamic characteristics of the Avro car both in hovering and in forward flight. To provide more detailed aerodynamic data, a one-fifth scale model of the Avro car was designed and constructed for testing in the Massey Memorial Wind Tunnel at Wright Air Development Center. Before being dispatched to WADC for installation in the tunnel, the model and its supporting structure, together with integral force balance, were assembled. Tests were carried out to check the functional behavior of the model and the balance. Wind tunnel tests including flow visualization tests, were performed to determine aerodynamic characteristics and pressure distribution during takeoff, hovering, transition, and forward flight. To investigate the unique system of propulsion and control to be used in the Avro car, a full-scale 20-degree segment of the peripheral nozzle and outer portion of the wing was constructed.
tests were performed at the Orenda Engines test establishment at Nobel. Here, air flows and pressures could be provided to the segment to match those supplied by the turbo rotor in the actual vehicle. Two spoiler rings in the throat of the peripheral nozzle deflect the jet flow for pitch and roll control. Instrumentation was installed to supply data to automatic recorders and manometer boards in the control room. Vertical takeoff and hovering are achieved by downward deflection of the peripheral jet, which in the proximity of the ground produces appreciable thrust augmentation. Transition from hovering to forward flight is achieved by rearward deflection of the jet. This hovering model was built to investigate the system of stabilization used in the Avro car. An electrically driven gyro in the center of the model simulates the turbo rotor and operates gates controlling the emission of air at each tip of the cruciform. Because the center of gravity of the Avro car is located approximately in the center of the circular planform, Stabilization in pitch and roll is required. On the vehicle, the gyroscopic characteristic of the turbo rotor is used to sense the rate of imbalance in pitch and roll and introduce corrective bias into the flight control system. Later in the program, the 120th scale model was modified to provide vertical damping data. This information, together with results from previous tests, was used in conjunction with a simulation study being performed on an electronic analog computer. analog computer was operated as a flight simulator with representative controls and instrumentation. Response of the airplane to disturbances of varying magnitudes and frequencies together with coupling characteristics between the turbo rotor, pilot and spoilers and the ensuing effect on handling was investigated. From this, the most satisfactory control system parameters were determined. With the release of drawings of the main structural components, planning and tooling for manufacture of the test vehicle began. The circular plan form resulted in an economical tooling program requiring only 10 subassembly jigs and permitting the use of many identical parts. One final assembly jig is used for assembly of the main structural components. 